Hey, what's going on guys? I want to do a review on some more survival food. This is a fun survival food. This isn't uh, pinto beans and rice. This is ice cream sandwiches. Freeze dried ice cream sandwiches to be exact. And this is from Saratoga Farms. I got these from the Ready Store. I'm going to put a link in the description box so you guys can click on it. Go check these out. Um, this is a big number 10 can full of these, okay? There's 12 in these. Um, and this is $22 and change. If you don't want to spend 22 bucks on 12 ice cream sandwiches for the apocalypse, you can get one to try. It's only $2 and like 5 cents or 15 cents, something like that. Um, this is very much identical to the space food um, the astronauts would eat, or at least that's what they told you when you went to Liberty Science Center or somewhere else on a field trip when you're a kid. Uh, most people have experienced this when you're a child, you go on some kind of field trip, you go somewhere cool, some kind of museum or something. And then when you end up in that gift shop, every friggin' gift shop has that same cool little display of space food. And all it was was dehydrated food. However, nine out of 10 times, the food they picked for that was ice cream. Why? Because there's a bunch of kids going there. They don't want beef stew, you know what I mean? So I remember that. I remember multiple uh, school uh, trips. We went places and they had that and we always got it. It was the coolest thing ever. And then Dippin' Dots came out. I think we were in Washington, DC, and I got Dippin' Dots. It was like the new crazy thing, Dippin' Dots. I don't even know what happened to that. I don't see that anymore. But anyway, a freeze-dried ice cream sandwich is an awesome treat. It doesn't melt. It tastes identical to the, the real thing, because that's what it is. It's literally just freeze-dried. Um, so anyway, let's take a look at this package. It says, just add water. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something right now. Um, I eat these dry. I recommend you eat these dry. If you add water, it's for recipe type situations. For example, on the back here, prep, uh, preparation instructions. Freeze dried ice cream sandwiches require no preparation and can be eaten straight out of the can. That's how I recommend you do it. All right. If you put this in a bowl with some water, you're going to have a pile of mush. Uh, I guess if you want dessert soup, you can certainly do that. Uh, but here's where you know, the recipe stuff it comes in handy where you can actually use these in recipes to create something that's really cool, like a more elaborate dessert. So if you want to do this, ice cream sandwich dessert bars, there's what you need. 24 of these, so two containers, you need some whipped cream and some hot fudge and blah, blah, blah. The whipped cream will kind of moisten these up. And then you have like a soft cakey type dessert, almost like a weird pudding with uh, actually a cup of dirt. Do you ever have a cup of dirt? If you didn't, you are missing out. And... Uh, if you've never heard of that before, write in the comments, someone will clearly explain to you what cup of dirt is. That was awesome stuff, loved that as a kid. Anyway, there's the ingredients. Yes, tons, tons of crap in there. Not the healthiest thing for you, 170 calories each. Um, still less than some desserts. But uh, anyway, number 10 can, here's how they look. Get it in this package. I don't know why. Um, Every single one in this package, uh, in this uh, container, by the way, was sliced open like this, okay? I don't know if they're supposed to be like this, if they have to be like this. You think, like, you know, the, the packaging would be enough. I don't know if they need to be aerated. Whatever the deal is, I'll tell you what it probably is. It's probably because they have the oxygen absorber in there. You guys know what I'm talking about. This thing, right? We all know it. All the preppers do. Um, I'm assuming that even though these are individually wrapped, they're sliced open so that any kind of moisture wouldn't deteriorate it and make it go bad, okay, make it rot. So anyway, I can tell you it's messy. So when you open the thing up, because these things get banged around in storage, some of them are broken a little bit, all right? This one is the worst case scenario. Most of them were pretty solid, but a lot of times they get broken up like this, all right? So tons of crumbs. And basically this is what it looks like. It's not the long ones. This is the, the only thing about this I didn't like. It's very deceiving. Most people know ice cream sandwiches to be rectangles, right? That's what you get. You get them super cheap at the grocery store. And um, that's what we're used to seeing. And then you pull out of the package and it's misleading. It doesn't really matter. It tastes exactly the same, but it was a weird surprise that these are round. So that's the deal. It's round, it's dehydrated. It's very hard. You kind of break them open, all right? There's a cakey type consistency for the cookie. Um, they're very, very crunchy. The cream actually pulls off, if I could show you here. It pulls off in pieces, all right? It's not running or anything like that. And it's crunchy. Um, it's actually really, really good. Um, 
I think the filling for these, uh, to me, it tastes very much like, um, just like whipped cream. That's it, if you can make crunchy whipped cream, that's exactly what it would, it would be like. And the cake part is identical to like a cheap fake Oreo. If you ever had Hydrox, um, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't have name brand stuff uh, all the time growing up. Sometimes we'd, we'd get cheap and, and get some Hydrox cookies. But if you know what I'm talking about, that's that same exact flavor. And just crunchy, but uh, honestly the whole thing is delicious. Um, this is something you're gonna wanna store if you have kids. Like I said, if the apocalypse really comes, power outage, Al-Qaeda, whatever the hell happens in the future, if this, if it really goes down, and it's going down, you don't want your kids to be, uh, you know, stuck with a really horrible mac and cheese. Get them some cool things like this. Just uh, something noteworthy. Uh, it's not all about the world ending with this kind of stuff. Um, this is actually the last one in this container, as you can see. Why? Because they're absolutely delicious. And uh, the other reason is because whenever I didn't have dessert in the house or something, at least before, <laughs> I really focus on trying to lose some weight. Um, it'd be something to, to have that's sweet. You know, my food preps aren't just for the end of the world. I'm not like one of those obsessive people, I'll smack your hand if you touch my beans and rice. No, if you're hungry, it's food. You know what I'm saying? I, I do actually eat my survival food when I run out of regular food and I don't have money to go to the grocery store and buy new regular food. All right, that's, that's life, that's real. Sometimes, you know, you, you fall short on something and that's why I have this stuff. It's not just for when zombies are scratching at my windows. It's for when my wallet is empty. You know what I mean? This is real life type stuff. So anyway, awesome thing to, uh, uh, to store. I have a couple other desserts just because I was really interested in trying these type things. Anyway, I have some more uh, dessert type uh, food preps if you guys are interested in these because it's a little bit different. It's not the same old, same old, you know, mac and cheese or, you know, beef stew type stuff. Um, I'm interested in trying a couple new things. Uh, you know, most of it I really want to save, but I, I will open a couple cans here and there just for the, the sake of curiosity, to, to pique my own curiosity as well as to show you guys, you know, what to maybe expect if you're out buying this stuff. But anyway, awesome, awesome idea. Again, two bucks. I don't know what, what shipping is offhand if you're just buying one, but for two bucks you can try it, or $22 you can get a, a big can of this to store away for your kids or for yourself if something goes down. So anyway. That's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon.